Hi, my name is Emma Yoakum. Welcome to my capstone project. For my capstone project, I am creating a digital sewing pattern for my Etsy shop, along with taking pictures along the way and creating a video, which you're watching right now. We are currently in week two of the semester, and what I like to do before starting a pattern is just gather my inspiration and create some sketches of pattern possibilities. So right now I am on Pinterest and I gather pretty much all of my inspiration from Pinterest and I like to just pin things throughout the season, things that I think would be a fun project to do, a fun pattern to create, things that are trending and just fun to do. So yeah, I have been pinning inspiration for a while now and now I'm ready to create some sketches of what I would like to create. So I'm thinking I might create three or four sketches today and throughout this week and then ask um, my followers on Instagram to see which pattern they like the most and we'll go with that one. So. Let's just get to sketching, I guess. So this is the program I use to create my flat sketches. It's called Inkscape. It is a free program, but it's really similar to Adobe Illustrator in a lot of ways, at least in my opinion. Um, I'm no artist, but I really love this program. So here are some examples of some of the other sketches I have created for my previously made Etsy patterns. So this is the Celia dress, this is the Betty dress, the um, Annie shorts, this is the Jane jacket. So yeah, just a few examples of some of my previously drawn sketches. So now it was time to create a sketch for my new pattern. So I created the three sketches I talked about. And this is what I came up with. Um, I loved this blouse pattern. I thought it would be a great addition to anyone's fall wardrobe just because of the long sleeves, but also super comfy. And then I also sketched up this dress. I loved the oversized collar. It felt really fall to me, and I thought it'd be beautiful in like a brown color and maybe like a dark blue too. And then we created a cargo pants design. Um, cargo pants is something that has been really popular the past few years, and I I love it. I don't have a pair of cargo pants, so I thought it'd be fun to create a pair. And so I and I also thought it would be kind of on trend too, just because it has been trending in the last few years. Hi guys, welcome to week three of the semester. This week I want to work on finalizing our design and pattern making. So I gave the choice to my followers on Instagram. I posted on my stories three design options and then let my followers choose which of the three they wanted me to design for this capstone project. So they decided that I should do the cargo pants design, which I'm super excited for. I think it's going to be a great option for fall. I like to get into pattern making. So I also do all of my patterning in Inkscape as well. You can use programs that are specifically for pattern making, but Inkscape is easier for me um, because it's more hands-on. It feels closer to pattern making on paper, which is what I'm the most comfortable with. I am definitely a hands-on learner, so, you know, as, as close as I can get it to hands-on working is best for me. So within the pattern making process, I do two things. I create a draft and my final uh, pattern. So this is what the draft ends up looking like. It's literally just in my size. So it's just like this pencil thin um, outline. This is the front with the um, mock fly zipper and the back. 
we have a waistband, lots of pocket pieces, and then it's all numbered on this um, paper so that I can just print it out and tape it and assemble it together. And um, after doing that, the first draft ended up great, so I continued and made a final uh, draft pattern and now it well uh, the final pattern actually now it has the grading um, as you can see I named it the Rhoda pants I like to name my Etsy patterns off of family members names like um, ancestors names specifically women and so I have an ancestor who was named Rhoda so I named the pants after her and then we have sizing 6 through 24. Um, this is just a size chart to show you what color and what dot you're supposed to follow for what you're cutting. And then uh, we also graded a lot of the pockets and the waistband. And then we have like regular pockets that stay the same. But that's how it turned out. Hi guys, so we are now in week five and this week I'm going to start assembling my piece. This is just a draft. Once we are done with this draft, we are going to figure out if it needs any alterations, um, therefore altering the pattern. We'll just see how it turns out. So today that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew this piece up and then show you guys and evaluate if we need to make any changes. Currently, I am finishing week 8 of the semester. It's been a big jump since the last time I saw you, but we've made tons and tons of progress. So, these are the pants. I love them. I'm so happy about this design. I'm so happy about the fit. We did have to make a few alterations to our pattern, but now we are looking great. So a few changes we made was to the length. It was a little bit too long. I also dropped the waistline a little bit. Um, it was, I love high-waisted, but it was way too high-waisted. So I dropped the waistline a little bit. Um, I also added a few darts. They're kind of hidden though. So in the back we have these darts which go into the back pocket. So I like, I like that detail a lot. It makes me think of a lot of traditional jeans. Another dart we added was in the front, but you can't see it because it's hidden by this pocket. I would show you, but it, it's going to be too hard to show you. We have three different pocket designs for these pants. The base of the pants stay the same, but this pattern I provided three pant or pocket options. So this is... Option A, we have this square cut front pocket with this kind of just really a diagonal cut opening. Love them, they're perfect. And then the um and then we also have these more traditional cargo pant pockets as well, which I also love with the little flap. Super cute and yeah, just give that traditional cargo pant vibe. Type B for the pockets has the same square cut pockets, but the side pockets are a little different. They're the same as the back pocket, but on the side. Type C is very traditional looking. Um, it's a very traditional kind of jeans vibe or trousers too. And they just have like a regular jean pocket. It's not on the exterior like these ones are. It's on the interior um, behind the front layer of the pants and it has no side pocket so yeah those are the three options you can make with this pattern I have so far just made this type A pattern I love it it's they are the most comfy pairs of pants I've ever made ever owned I love them and I can't wait to make a thousand more pairs another update we have finished the digital PDF pattern so let me show you that Here's all of our pieces, but I'm going to go through it one by one. Currently, I have these patterns cut 
at the largest size, which is not my size, but I am creating another pair of pants at this side size for one of my models for the BYU Idaho fashion show um, that happens every semester so actually I'm going to be working on that today is cutting out this pattern for um, a larger model so this is the back and this is the front we have a mock fly um, <coughs> This front you can see has a mock fly zipper. It's my favorite zipper for pants. Um, so I love that I added it to this. Also you can see here, this is what the traditional jean pocket looks like, which is for type C for the, for the jeans. I haven't cut it out yet because I want to save the piece. So I'm just going to cut here and the, um, the pants that I'm creating today will be the type C. Um, version of our pattern. Now we have all of our pocket pieces. I'm finishing the instructions for this pattern within the next week or so. Um, it should be a week from tomorrow that I have them finished according to my plan. And then the pattern is going up. So the pattern will be up before this video even comes out. And I will have the link to this pattern in my description down below from my Etsy shop. Um, so if you are interested in making a pair of pants like these, you can go down below and purchase it. Now I am creating my pattern instructions. And you guessed it, I also create these on Inkscape. It is my best friend. <laughs> so this is kind of the layout I go with. I'll just go through it like page by page to show you. This is my first page just as an introduction to the Rota pants. Then I welcome you, tell you what supplies you need. This is the sizing chart. So you pick your size based off of your bust, waist, abdomen, and hip measurements. And then you pick your size. And then it shows you the finished garment measurement size. Then I tell you how to print the pattern and assemble it um, by taping it together and cutting it. And then we start to get into the sewing process. Um, so you need to do the cutting um, and then we get to the sewing instructions. So you need to pick your style. We have A, B, and C. And in the last clip I kind of switched it around. but. The A version is kind of a traditional jean style. B is cargo pants, but a little different because the side pocket is the same as the back pocket. And then C is our very traditional looking cargo pants. And then we just get into the instructions and this is what it looks like. I make all of the uh, illustrations myself um, and I'm not an artist, but I do my best best to show my um, buyers how to create these patterns and so that's what it ends up looking like and now the pattern is done the instructions are done and so my pattern is now uploaded onto my Etsy shop well guys thank you so much for joining me through my capstone project um, I'm sorry if it was kind of confusing. I've been filming this video over the last three months, um, and so it was hard to keep track of everything I had done, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so happy about how this project turned out. It's my 11th pattern that I have made, and I'm so proud of it. And um, seriously, they are the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever made and worn. Um, and I wear them literally all the time. Again, if, if you guys are interested in this pattern, I will have it linked down below. Actually, today, as this video is going up, it is Black Friday. So I am having a Black Friday Cyber Monday deal where all of my patterns are 50% off. So if you wanted to go and snag this pattern or any of my other patterns, this would be the best time because I have a super long, huge deal going on. The semester's not over yet, so technically my capstone project isn't done yet. Um, 
but something I'm super excited for is that at the end of the semester, I and my best friend and my sister all get to model these pairs of pants in the BYU Idaho fashion show. On this channel I create a lot of fashion sewing and crafting content so if that's something you're interested please subscribe to my channel and again if you like the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me. Thank you for joining me today see you next Friday.